What is up guys, Justin Mechanic. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna do a super rundown of everything you're gonna need to know about car paint. We're gonna cover single stage, base coat, clear coat, what is reducer, what is activator, what is hardener, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to mix car paint all in one video. It is gonna be a slightly longer video, but I have so much information that I wanna cover in one video, so let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty guys, so the first two products we're gonna be talking about is base coat and reducer. So what is base coat? Well, base coat is, in general, your color. Um, it could be any type of color, black, green, blue, whichever the case may be. The base coat is typically your first uh, layer of actual color. Uh, that's why it's called the base, because it's the first thing you spray after the primer. Now, this could be a metallic color, a solid color, or it could have some pearls in it um, in order to give it some sort of effect. Now, typically with a base coat, you're gonna need some sort of reducer to reduce the paint. So what is reducer? Well, just like the name says, it reduces the paint's viscosity in order to be able to spray the actual material. Since paint, in general, is too thick to paint straight out of the can, it needs to be reduced or thinned out in order to get a proper atomization of that paint. Number two, the reducer also helps in dry times. Now, typically you're gonna have some sort of recommended temperature range that your specific reducer is going to be the best at. Now, you typically have three options. That's gonna be slow, medium, or fast. And depending on which reducer you use and what rating, you're gonna have either a faster or slower dry time. But this is all gonna be contingent upon the temperature that you're spraying. Now the third and last thing that reducer does is it creates more sprayable material. For instance, half paint, half reducer, you're gonna have more amount to spray. All right, so the next product on the list is going to be clear coat. Now what is clear coat? Well, clear coat is basically a transparent layer that goes on top of your base. This give it that gloss. Now, there are some different options when it comes to clear. This could also affect the overall finish. So for example, if you want it glossy, you're gonna get a nice gloss finish. You're gonna get a gloss type clear, but there's also flat clears or satin clears. Depending on which one you choose, that's gonna be your end result. Now, when it comes to activators or hardeners for your clear, there's typically three options. For one, you're gonna have a slower hardener and that's going to be contingent upon the temperatures that you're spraying. The reason why you want a slow hardener in warmer weather is so that the paint doesn't dry on you too quickly. Next is gonna be your medium hardener. This is gonna be a more general purpose hardener and usually is the most used on, on average temperatures. And typically it's gonna have some rating. This one in particular is 75 to 88 degrees. And next we have fast hardener. Now, you typically you're gonna use a fast hardener on diff two different occasions. Either you're doing a spot repair or a very quick uh, job that you need that clear to, in order to flash off quicker, or you're gonna use it in colder weather where the paint is taking too long to dry and you want that process to be sped up. Now, when it comes to activator or hardener, these are two different terms used in order to explain the same thing. Some different brands like to call their hardeners activators, and some brands call them just hardeners. Sometimes you'll even hear a term called catalyst. These are all different terms that essentially mean the same thing. Next is single stage. Single stage is probably one of my favorite pa paints to spray only because it's really easy to use. Now with single stage, you typically have your activator, your reducer, and your top coat all in one. Typically, your mixing ratio is gonna be somewhere around three to one to one, and sometimes you'll even see four, one, one, and other ratios as well, depending on the brand and the type of paint that it is. So what's great about single stage is you have your color 
and your gloss all in one step. So basically once you're done mixing and you're done spraying, you don't have any other steps you need to take in order to get that nice gloss. It's different than base coat and clear coat where base is sprayed, then you wait till it dries and then you go ahead and spray clear on top. With single stage, it's all in one step, all in one process, and it just makes it for a whole lot quicker and easier process. Another thing with single stage is it's a little bit thicker, so some sanding scratches, uh, you won't actually be able to tell once you spray on top because the, the paint is a quite a bit thicker than base coat, clear coat. But in general, the longevity of a single stage paint job is typically a lot shorter. Now we're gonna talk about mixing paint. And when it comes to mixing paint, I typically use two different methods. The first method is probably the most easiest, and this is going to be a ratio cup. Now what is a ratio cup or a mixing cup? Well, basically it's a cup that you can pour in and it has different ratios on it. Now, as you can tell, we have several different sections depending on what ratio your paint is gonna be, you're going to select a certain box. Now, each of that certain box is already pre-calculated for you, so all you really have to do is fill to the appropriate lines. The next technique I'm gonna show you for mixing paint is with a graduated stir stick or a mixing stick. Now, as you can see, this particular one has different numbers on it. And basically these numbers mean the same thing just like on a ratio cup, where you fill up to the certain lines or appropriate lines depending on the ratio of your paint. Now I'll get more into this in detail in just a few minutes, so let's get started. All right, so the first paint that we're gonna learn how to mix today is going to be base coat. And base coat is going to take some sort of reducer. So first thing is first, we're gonna go ahead and look at our mixing ratio. And this particular one is going to be a one-to-one -one mixing ratio. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my mixing cup and select the one-to-one -one ratio box and start to fill to the corresponding lines. Now for this demonstration, I'm gonna be using the number two line. But in general, you could use any of the numbers on the left-hand side from one to five. Now, depending on how much paint you're gonna use, you're gonna pour to the corresponding line. For this example, like I just mentioned, we're gonna start with the two and fill to the next corresponding two. All right, so now it's time to mix the paint. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my base, which is represented by some water. And we're gonna go ahead and pour to the number two line. And that is our one part base. Now, as you can see, I filled up to the first number two line on the left hand column. Next, we're gonna go ahead and grab our reducer, also represented by water, and we're gonna go ahead and fill to the second number two line. Now this is a one to one ratio. Now all that's left to do is just go ahead and stir your base coat and you're ready to load it up into the gun. guys so the next product that we're gonna learn how to mix is clear coat now this particular clear coat is gonna take a ratio of four to one so the first thing is first we're gonna go ahead and grab our mixing ratio cup and select our four to one box now as you can see it does have three numbers but since we're only mixing a four to one ratio we're only gonna use the first two numbers so there are three different hardeners we're gonna select and depending on what temperature you're spraying, you're gonna select different hardener. But let's go ahead and grab the clear and start mixing. So again, represented by water, we're gonna go ahead and fill to the number two line. And that'll make our four parts clear up to the number two line. Next, we're gonna go ahead and select our hardener. And like I said, you're gonna have three different options, slow, medium, or fast. And depending on which one, uh, which temperature you are spraying, you're gonna select a particular one. In this case, we're just gonna use standard or medium hardener. We're gonna go ahead and fill to the next number two line. 
and that's gonna make our four to one ratio. So again, represented by water, we're gonna go ahead and add our hardener. Then we're gonna go to the second number two line. And that right there is our four to one. Now all we need, simply we need to do is just go ahead and grab our stirring stick and stir the paint and we're ready to load it up into the gun. So the next product on the list that we're gonna learn how to mix is single stage. Now this particular single stage is gonna take a ratio of three to one to one. So simply we're gonna go ahead and select the three to one to one box on our mixing cup and grab our top coat and begin the three parts section. So let's go ahead and begin. Now again, I am gonna be using water to represent the uh, top coat. So simply we're gonna go ahead and grab our top coat and fill to the first number two line. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put away our top coat and grab our activator and fill to the next number two line. So again, represented by water, we're gonna go ahead and pour to the next number two line. And now we just added our activator. And lastly, for our single stage, we're gonna go ahead and add our reducer and we're gonna to fill to the last number two line. So again, represented by water, we're gonna go ahead and fill. Now lastly, we're just gonna go ahead and grab one of our stirring sticks, go ahead and stir very well, and we are finished. Now it's ready to be added to the gun. All right, the last thing on our list is going to be mixing paint with a stirring stick. Now, as you can see, this stirring stick has different numbers on it, but it's essentially the same as a mixing cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I mix paint with a stir stick. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put your stir stick inside your cup. Now, for this example, we're gonna be using a two to one ratio so we're gonna go ahead and fill to the number two line. And then we're gonna add one part, which is gonna add all the way up to the three, number three line. So again, we're gonna go ahead and grab our water. In this case, it would probably be a two to one clear. And we're gonna go ahead and add to the number two line. Next, we're gonna go ahead and grab our hardener or our activator. And again, represented by water, we're gonna go ahead and fill to the number three line. And that is gonna be our two to one ratio. Some people have argued that the stirring stick isn't as accurate as a mixing cup. Well, I'll show you in this demonstration that it's actually just as accurate with a mixing stick than it is with a mixing ratio cup. So as you can see, I went ahead and highlighted the numbers on the uh, two to one section. And as you can see, the twos line up just perfectly. And the second number two matches right up to the number three line. So in this indication, this indicates that, well, the paint just gets mixed just as well with the stirring stick as it will with the cup. Alrighty guys, well, that is my video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully you guys learned a thing or two uh, to be able to mix paint for your future project or your current project Please give it a like a comment or subscribe if you found this video helpful um, I am trying to reach a goal of a thousand subscribers and I would really appreciate it if you consider subscribing Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching Stay safe out there as always stay spraying and we'll catch you guys on the next video